Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am really good. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you and found some really good stuff. I just, these just caught my eye. They had a ton of them. So I picked up several. I picked up for the grand ladies. I picked up for Toys for Tots. I think this is a great deal. And this is Design Your Own Wall Art. And let's see, what does it say here? The poster itself is 26 inches by 25.5. And it looks like the background is already colored for you and you have to go ahead and color in this rainbow. And it has butterflies and crystals and flowers. And it comes with, um, it says easy to apply, easy to remove. It includes the mural, four markers, one sticker sheet, 10 removable adhesive tabs, and the instructions. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see right here, but it shows you, it's probably is like poster tack that comes with it, the markers, and then the, the sheet. So I think that is really fun. I think that would be really nice to put in you know, to put in for Toys for Tots, guys, and it's not too early to start thinking about it. You know, if you guys want to donate to whatever charity of your choice, start picking things up now, you know, get a little laundry basket, put the stuff in there, and then at Christmas time or whenever you choose to donate, you'll have a nice big collection to go ahead and do it. I just, I think it's a great deal, and $1.25 for something like this is going to make a child very, very happy. So it's what I do. I I have my Toys for Tots bins. I actually use their um kind of like their fabric collapsible bins. I start filling those up and then you know closer to Christmas time after Thanksgiving, I go ahead and take it to the drop-off points and it's just what we have done now for many years, so I think it's great. So let's see. Let's get the candy stuff out of the way. I needed a couple more of the pretzels, the pretzel rods. I needed one more for an Easter basket. So I picked up two. And these are just good, guys. So good. And you get two white chocolatey pretzel rods by the Olivier's company. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. And it says, made in a peanut-free facility, which I think is great. And the Best Buy is October of 23. And these will be long gone by then. They are just good. So one of them is gonna go in the Easter basket that I need and the other one is for me. And then, I probably just broke that. They had these and these looked really different. Got two of them. By Coastal Bay, you guys know that I've been addicted to the Coastal Bay Company. These are called Rainbow Ropes. Naturally and artificially flavored. Let me see, what does it say back here? The best buy is January of 24, three servings per container of about two pieces per serving. So yeah, I'm going to, I want to try this. This says it does contain wheat manu manufactured on equipment that processes soy and peanuts. And it is made in Mexico. So anybody in your life that can't have peanuts, these probably wouldn't be for you. Let me go ahead and open one of these and give them a try. Oh, they smell good. Let's see, what color should I try? We'll just try the one that's closest to the end here. They're stuck together. Very funky color combinations. This one is purple and yellow, and they almost look like they're filled with something. They are filled with something. Mm. Those are good, guys. Very, very, very strong fruity flavor. Very strong. That's good. Very different. They're kind of like a gummy, but on the softer side. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like that. And then these were on an end cap, a whole bunch of them. I have not had these in forever. So I thought I'd pick them up. And it is Wise brand. Best Buy is August of 23. And these are the cheese doodles. These are the, the um, baked puffs in cheddar flavor. I used to love these things and haven't had them in a long time. 
5.5 ounce. It's probably been two years. Well, maybe no, maybe not. Maybe it's been like within the year. I may pick these up for the littlest grand lady. These are just good, wise brand. I want to see where they're made. I was thinking that they're a Pennsylvania company. Yes, Berwick, Pennsylvania. I'm not quite sure where Berwick is. I'd have to look that up. I can't place it right off the top of my head. But Wise Brand chips are delicious. So yeah, this is going to be snack one night. Yum. And then I have seen everybody and their brother hauling these, and we finally found them. This lid does not seem like it's on tight, so I better check that. The seal is fine. They are sealed. At least this one is. Check your lids, guys. This is the Campbell's Flavor Up Cooking Concentrate. This one is the Caramelized Onion in Burgundy Wine, an 11 ounce. Let's see the best buy. November of 23. This one is the Rich Garlic and Herb, best buy. This print's very hard to read on this one. It looks like November of 23. Let's see if I can hold these. They are kind of heavy. And this one sounded wonderful. This is the Savory Mushroom and Herb. They're all 11 ounce. This is October of 23. So we picked up one of each. They just look good. If you guys have tried these, let me know. Like if you have a recipe, this one says, boost the flavor of any meat, veggie, or grain dish by adding one tablespoon or more. So you definitely don't need a lot of this in whatever recipe you're using. But, oh, this mushroom one, that just sounds so good. I may have to put a beef roast in the crock pot and try some of this. And this caramelized onion, mmm. And even the garlic and herb. Wonder if you mixed them. Has anybody tried putting just a little bit of each one coming up with your own flavor combinations? But they're Campbell's brand, guys. I think that's great. So let me know your thoughts on that. Let me set these out of the way. I know they're gonna fall right off the, right off my desk. And that was it for the food the food stuffs saw they had a whole end cap of these um, Rubbermaid, which I love the rub Rubbermaid bowls. Look at the color. I just think that color is beautiful. That's what caught my eye. So I just grabbed one. You know, these things don't last forever. They get stained up and broken, and but it was the color of this that just caught my eye. And they're the take-alongs. Limited edition color. How much does it hold? Does it say rigid lid for secure stacking lids click to container for a tight seal handy measuring marks the, you get two in here and two lids two bowls two lids and it is the 5.2 cup i just thought they're pretty so i just grabbed one and then i saw these and thought maybe harper in london could use these for something in their sewing they had all different colored sheets. I grabbed the two that just caught my eye. They were the closest to the end of the peg. These are the sequin sheets and they're six by 10 inch by Crafter Square and you get one piece. So that, that's how big you get. And they look like the kind of sequins that you could flip and it would be a different color. This one is like the purple iridescent. It looks like it switches to white. And then this is the like white iridescent and it looks like it changes to a solid white so maybe they all change to solid white i'm not quite sure about that but they had all different colors everything you can imagine i know there was a really pretty like gold bronze color but i just pulled off the two that were at the end so if they see this video and want me to pick them up more i'll grab them more i don't i really don't know what you would do with something this small but i'm sure they'll come up with something and then I picked up three more of these. These are the lacrosse sticks. I already picked up two, and then I thought, why didn't I pick up one for all, all five of the grandkids? That way they can all have one. So I picked up five. And it's the lacrosse, the stick. It has the attached net. Very, very well made. Plus it comes with the little wiffle ball. And make sure you check 
if you would find these and want to pick them up, make sure that the wiffle ball is with it because there were some, even in the store that I found these, some of them did not have the wiffle ball. So, but I mean, you know, if you want it that bad and there's only one left, I know in the toy section, they do have a pack of, I think it was three wiffle balls in the pack. Don't quote me on that though. It may have been five. I can't remember. Just white ones though. But I picked up one more of each of these. And I think I'm actually going to put these in their Easter baskets. That way they'll each have one. But that is it, guys. That is everything for this haul. These little, these little um, ropes, these are good. These Crystal Bay. Very different. Very, very strong fruity flavor. But they're good. Why did I just put that in my mouth? That way I can't sign off in this video. Sorry about that. They're, they're puckery. They, they kind of get you. All right. Sorry, guys. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Before I sign off, another thing. I know you guys are going to ask me about my, about my blouse. This actually came from Walmart. I have I think I was telling you guys about it. I had gone through my closet and got rid of a bunch of stuff that I seriously have had for 30 years. And I need summer clothes horribly. I've had weight fluctuation in the last couple of years and it's just time for me to get myself some new pieces. So I actually placed a pretty big Walmart Walmart order. I'm waiting for everything to come. This one did come already and I'm loving it. But would you guys be interested in me doing a Walmart clothing, like maybe try on, showing you what I got, you know, putting all the links in and all that. If you guys would be interested, comment down below. I know a lot of you don't even make it to the end of the video, but if you do comment, let me know your thoughts on that. And I'll go ahead as the, you know, as the items come in, I'll just hold everything and then make a video out of it. All right, now I'm going to sign off. Hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.